Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've been doing uh, work with contact forms lately. We, last video we showed you how to add a file upload button with contact form 7. Here's a question that comes up quite often. People are asking what is conditional logic and how do we apply it with our form? So I've got a form here as you can see it's got a couple of fields, name, email address. Then I'm asking a question. If I check yes, nothing's going to happen. If I check no, it's going to pop up with a little, little box that says, why don't you like blue? If I check not sure, it's going to pop up with a different box that says, what color do you like? So that's conditional logic. You, you're answering a specific question or filling out a line. And depending on what you fill out, it's popping up a different box to take you from that point. Great little feature for asking specific questions. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end here. And let's go down. I'll delete this and we'll start from scratch. OK, so I've got a section, blue tab with a row, the green tab, one column. I'm going to put it in a contact form. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. If you've got WooCommerce installed, it also gives you another dozen modules to display your products with. Here's the contact form. OK, so basically we've got a regular message there with email address, name and message. I'm going to add a new field. I'm going to add some checkboxes to ask a question. And I'm going to ask, do you like blue? Obviously, ask whatever you want to ask. I'm also going to make that the field title too. Let's put a capital D on the front of there. Okay, so it's popped in in a regular field down below. In the next tab in field options, we can decide what sort of field we want. And I'm going to make this a checkbox. And our first field here, let's say yes. And we'll add another one. And we'll say no. And let's add one more. And we'll say not sure. OK. And then you want to decide what exactly you want to happen. And there's our title right there. Let's put it in there. And let's pop this up under the email there before the message field. And I just left clicked dragged it to where I wanted it and released the left button there. OK, well now let's decide what we want to happen once they click on one of these. So if they say yes, I don't want anything to happen. So they've answered that question. If they say no, I want to find out why they don't like blue. So let's add a new field. I'm going to say, why don't you like blue? And these are very simple examples, but you get the idea. You can get all kind of complex things going here and find out exactly what you need to find out about people's sizes, male, female, etc, etc, etc. OK, I'm going to go into the field options here. And they may have a long explanation for that. So I'm going to make it a text area rather than just an input field so they can put plenty in there. I'm not going to make it a required field because if they don't fill it out, it's going to throw up an error if they select one of these other ones. So I'm taking that off there. That's fine. Now let's create another one for not sure. Well, let's ask them what color they do like. So we'll add a new field. And let's say, what color do you like? And again, I'm going to make that the title as well. Makes it so much easier to see on the front end there. Right. So if they click yes, nothing's going to happen. If they click no, we want to make it pop up. Why don't you like blue? And if they click not sure, we want to make it pop up. Well, what color do you like? And to do that, this is where the conditional logic comes in. So we may as well start with the one we're on. What color do you like? Conditional logic. Enable. And it's going to ask us what the rules are to display this field. So if we say, do you like blue equals no. 
it'll pop up. But we want this to pop up actually on not sure because we want to say what color do you like. Now you could also, if you wanted to, add another one that says if they hit either of these that will pop up so they can fill out both of these. To do that just hit the plus. We'll say do you like blue again if it equals no and we can display it. So if they check either no or not sure that box will pop up now. Now you can enable the relationship to any so if they check that one it'll pop up if they check this one it'll pop up but if you change this from any to all they'd have to check both of those boxes for this to pop up so if you've got a question with multiple answers and they can select a couple you can do it that way but I just want a single on this to keep it simple but I just wanted to point that out if you've got a more complex question there so let's take that one away so if it equals not sure that's going to display this field great let's save this and we'll go into the why don't you like blue this time and we only want this to display if that's set to no or if they check that no so let's go in this one here's our conditional logic I'm going to enable it we only want this to pop up if do you like blue equals not sure great so we'll save that and let's drag our message field down to the bottom so that's the last thing that they fill out there and you can go on once one of these pops up you can ask another question or, or give it some more logic that if they say something and with the logic if I go back in there that under the equals there's various different things so if you've got numbers if it does not equal a certain amount or is greater than a certain amount is less than or contains a specific word or a number does not contain a specific word or number if something is left empty you can make something pop up and or if something is filled out you can make something pop up with that I've been keeping it fairly simple with just using the equals there but you've got some great other options there so just bear those in mind let's save this now and we'll save our changes save the page changes when I exit the page in a minute you'll see that that and that disappear because they're only going to pop up when these boxes are checked so let's exit the visual builder and they should disappear there we go those two fields have disappeared now we've got our name our email if we click on yes nothing should happen fantastic if we click on no it should ask us why we don't like blue there it is we click on not sure it should say what color do you like there it is right there and also with this what color do you like you can choose how many characters they want to put in there whether they can put in special characters if I just go back in there and let's go you know what color do you like in the field options you can a decide what type of field it is an input field which is just a, a regular line that we've got there which is fine let's say minimum length of zero and maximum length say 15 and again we want to make sure it's not required because it will flag if you put these ones that are going to pop up as required and they don't select one of these it will error out so you want to make sure these aren't required when they pop up and you can decide whether to allow symbols, letters only, numbers only, alphanumeric numbers and letters. So I'm asking for a color, 15 letters. I can't think of a color more than 15 letters and we only need letters. I don't know unless they want to put a hex number in there, there shouldn't be a problem. So there's some great options there also. So let's save this and exit out and our little form should be good to go. So there we go we've got our little form and we've got our conditional logic like I say this was a very simple version and I hope it's made sense to you but conditional logic is a great way for making your forms more complex and getting answers to questions for specific groups or types of people so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.